Hi there, students. A vest, a countable noun, different in American English and British English, and to vest as a verb, a vested interest, vested, an adjective. Okay, firstly, a vest. So in the US, a vest is a waistcoat. Yeah, if you wear a three-piece suit, yeah, you will have a waistcoat, which is um, uh, a top, but it has no sleeves. Yeah, and this is what the Americans call a vest, but I would call a waistcoat. To me, as a Brit, a vest is a piece of underwear. Yeah, a vest is. Uh, is what you wear underneath your shirt. When it's cold, you wear a vest, a piece of clothing without arms that goes underneath your um, your shirt. Yeah, um, and the vest is worn underneath your shirt. So the vest, uh, to me as a Brit, is um, a um, a piece of underwear, yeah, a thermal vest, yeah. If you if you don't want to be cold in winter, you should wear a thermal vest or a string vest, yeah, or a cotton vest. Now, that's reasonably easy, but to vest, um, so to give somebody the power to do something. Um, to uh, the um, the power of the nation or political power is vested in the parliament. Yeah. Um, when a priest uh, a priest at a wedding says, "By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife." So to vest a power in somebody, to give them um, a power or a right to do something. Okay. So um, the uh, a policeman is vested with powers of arrest. Powers of arrest are vested in a policeman. Okay, and this is the idea of um, to vest, to give someone the legal right, the legal power to do something, or property. So, um, he uh, vested uh, his uh, wealth in his children upon his death. Notice to vest as well, to come into the possession of something. Um, okay, so the uh, after he died, his wealth vested in his children. He vested his wealth in his children. His wealth vested in his children. Um, but more normally to vest, to give somebody the right to do something. Let's see, we have a phrase, a vested interest. If somebody has a vested interest, they have a particular reason for acting in a particular way because they want to protect themselves. They want to protect their money or their power or their reputation. So, um, uh, the rich have a vested interest in not changing the system. Yeah, they have a vested interest. They um, th they have something to lose if the system changes. So if you have a vested interest, yeah, um, you you ha you are participating in it. You are part you are participating with a benefit from something, and that's the idea of a vested interest. Notice in business and finance. Um, Right, so um, an, uh, a pension plan can vest, yeah, the, or rights at, for an employee can vest. It means that you must work for the company for a period of time before you can use that right, before you can sell that right. So um, the right to a pension uh, becomes fully vested after five years.
yeah um okay the uh um a share option uh vests in uh the worker after the worker has been working for a certain amount of time yeah so it means they have the power to use this after a particular period of time has uh gone by okay so to vest to um give somebody powers to do something the this new law vested uh the government with the power to um confiscate any money made uh, illegally yeah um and then stock options vest yeah after you've been working for a certain number of years you, you they they become yours you have the right to uh use them um the power to to do this was vested in the committee was placed with the committee um the company vested uh the managing director with the authority to uh, uh borrow money and make loans on behalf of the company okay and then a vest a british vest a piece of underwear an undershirt whereas an american vest um a waistcoat for example a bulletproof vest okay to vest authority in somebody to give them the authority to do something okay now let's see formality a vest to wear both of them the american and the british five in formality use anywhere um by the power vested in me seven in formality to vest power to vest authority in somebody seven in formality use in a semi formal writing or a formal writing in a business or legal context so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon ah the origin the origin okay the um this word vest comes from latin vestis a garment a robe from proto-indo-european wes to be dressed and this is a cognate cognate with the sanskrit word ves, vastra vastra so bye for now